name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You may be surprised why I'm looking here, because here I have a very, very beautiful picture of Our Lady to pray. Fatima will never finish to surprise us. One surprise after the other. We couldn't even expect what happens all the time in Fatima. We have seen that already many times, but now we come to become to a very outstanding event. This time we will not meditate about a concrete word of Our Lady. It will be the next time again, because the word of Our Lady has not been said even if Our Lady was there. It is the famous surprise of the 13th of August. 13th of August. Now, of course, please recall the situation. On the 13th of July, 1917, there were about 3,000 people counted in the Kovada area attending the apparition when Our Lady gave to the children the great secret. The great secret. Of course, the people were surprised to have the children so long time speaking or looking to the, to the oak tree and hearing the message of Our Lady. That's clear, because it's the longest of all apparitions, much longer than all the others almost together. And now, of course, the first thing what the people heard from Lucy, what did she say, what did she say? And Lucy would say, yes, Our Lady, pr Our Lady promised to make a miracle in three months. On the 13th of October, now you can imagine what the news. Imagine at that moment, everybody was interested. You know, people would say, "She will make a big, a big, a, a, a big miracle on the 13th of October. She will come 13th of August, 13th of September. Let's go to Fatima. Let's look." Now the thing becomes national. Before it was just local the first two apparitions, but now it gets really something big. And so, of course, the press, first articles in the newspapers, all Freemason newspaper came, of course, to ridicule and make a caricature, both of the children, of their parents, of the events, you know, that's clear. But that didn't help. The political powers came in order to make the first strong interrogations. And now, the time of the 30th of August preached, the day of the approach, and now we come to the, the, the day before. Two days before the 11th of August, the children with their parents for the first time were summoned to appear before the local district administration, so the high, highest political authority of the district there. And there, such a big, a very famous Freemason, and uh, he really, really wanted to hear. He wanted, they all wanted to know what's the secret. And so Lucy writes, the administrator was determined to force me to reveal the secret and promise him never again to return to the Kovadiria. To attain this end, he spared neither promises nor even threats. Seeing that he was getting nowhere, he dismissed me protesting, however, that he would achieve his, his end, even if this meant that he had to take my life. You can imagine, these are not very nice words for a child who is just 10 years old. Now the 13th of August comes. A crowd counted of more than 20,000 people were there in the Coavada area. Now in the morning, early in the morning, the administrator, this man, came in his car to the house of Francisco and Jacinta, together with an uh, archpriest, I think a dean of the, of the major town, Urem, in the surroundings. He pretended that I believe now in the apparitions and I, want, I, didn't, I did come for the security of the children. Had never been such a crowd here in the surroundings that we are, we are just uh, responsible for the children's security. So I will take care of them. So first, he took them together with the archpriest to the, to the, to the, to the parish house, to the, to the presbytery, where the parish priest, in the presence of the administrator, interrogated the children again. 
It's not a, it's again and again. After the interrogation, now here what happens. The administrator, Mr. Arturo de Oliveira Santos, he, he declared that he wants now to drive the children to the, lay of, the place of apparitions in order to take care of their safety because he is the boss here. But instead of bringing them to the Covadeica, uh, to Covada area, on the way, he turns around and heads for his own town, Urem, which is opposite and some kilometers far from the place. The children cried. The children asked, please, please, our lady waits. He was just laughing. Then he shut them up in a room in his house and declared, they will not get out of here until they will have revealed the secret. So the children were lost there. They were, were captured and the people waited. And of course, the people got more and more upset. Where are the children? What had happened? Rumors came, have been killed. Something happened. The administrator has been seen with the scar and the children over. So the people got more and more upset. And now we have the testimonies and the witness of some of presents in that moment and the famous Maria Carreira, one of the most faithful, uh, uh, faithful who has been already from the 13th of June together with the children and who helped very much all her life, witnessed. I don't know what would have happened, she writes, if we hadn't heard the clap of thunder. It was much the same at the last time, 13th of July. Many people were shocked and some of them began to cry out that they would be killed. Everyone, be everyone began to spread out away from the tree on which Our Lady already appeared three times. But of course, nobody was killed. After the thunderclap came a flash of lightning and then we began to see a little cloud, very delicate, very white, which stopped for a few moments over the tree then rose in the air and disappeared. The majority of the pilgrims confirmed this scene. So the people, they saw it and they everyone said, certainly our lady came. What a pity that she could not see the children. The people were even yet more upset. It was very interesting to know that our lady showed to the present people, however, that she arrived through these manifestations Many, many people were witnessing on the 13th of August, but nobody to talk with her. Children were not there. And now people asked, what happens? What has happened to the children? Nobody knew. Even their own parents didn't know where they are. So finally, they were looking after her. They were very, very upset. People got, went home and a delegation from, the, from, from Fatima, from al were were going to the administrator because it was very probable that the children had been there because have, they had been seen with him before they disappeared. Now in the meantime, what happened to the children? During two days, it was a torture. Subjected to uninterrupted or, uh, interrogations. Nine interrogations of the children. Can you imagine that? Children with seven, eight, and ten years. It's, 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 it's impossible. It's worse than in the worst um, Soviet times. Only on the 14th August, they were where they were questioned separately and also examined by a doctor and, and without any result. So the enemies tried really everything to to make the children, you know, crash. First interrogation together, then separated in order that they would contradict one another, then medical, medical interrogation, medical, I don't think, examination. And so when after all these torture, the administrator could not reach his goal, what he did, he used to, he used to decide to treat even stronger weapons. He put them into the public prison with the bandits and murderers. Imagine that. Francisco was most hurt that he had missed the rendezvous with our parents. Jacinda suffered horribly, it's understandable, seven years, because she was separate from the parents. Lucy writes in her memories, next, when together with all these prisoners, look, this, this famous scene, it is so charming and so great, so heroic. You know, the children were fearing to be killed and they, were, they, they, they believed that the traps 
uh, the, the, that they were threatened. They saw all these bandits and what is now doing, what they're doing, what they're doing. We decided to pray our rosary. Look, this scene, Jacinta took off a medal that she was wearing around her neck. So we know that she wore a medal for one lady and asked a prisoner to hang it up for her on a nail in the wall. Kneeling before this medal, we began to pray and the prisoners prayed with us. Afterwards, Jacinta, who no longer, long, longer wept during the interrogations, began sobbing as she saw, thought of her mother. Jacinta, I asked, don't you want to offer the sacrifice, this sacrifice for, to our Lord? Yes, I do, but I keep thinking of my mom and I can't help crying. As the Blessed Virgin had told us to offer our prayers and sacrifices also in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Love of Mary. We agreed that each of us would choose one of these intentions. One would offer for sinners, another for the Holy Father, and yet another in reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. These are the discussions amongst the three children in prison, my friends. It's incredible. Having decided on this, I told Jacinta to choose whichever intention she preferred. I am making the offering for all the intentions because I love them all. Typical Jacinta. Every intention together. Suddenly a guard appeared who in a fearsome voice called out to Jinta. The oil is burning now. Tell the secret if you don't want to be burned. I can't. So you can't? Then I make you able to come. And she left immediately without even saying goodbye. It's all relation from, uh, all, all writing from, from Lucy. Then Francisco confided to me with boundless joy and peace. If they kill us, as they say, we'll soon be in heaven. How oh, wonderful. Nothing else matters. I, as you, you, you could just weep when you hear such words. What is the mind of these children? What is the heart of this young, this little child Francisco during the middle of all these trials, of all these, these threatening people, of all this evil around, just, just exult. I'm going to hell now. It's time, you know. Incredible. Then after a moment of silence, oh, may God grant that Jacinda not be afraid. I will say a special Ave Maria for her. This is the fresh relation, the fresh fresh explanation of the situation which happened that moment, you know. Shortly after, the guard came to look for Francisco. Then Lucy, always the same scenario. The administrator made a third threat. All three of them would be boiled together. Of course, he didn't boil them, but everybody was so convinced that will happen. Still, he did not obtain the secret, the, the secret or any kind of confession. What a what a heroic life, what a strength, what a force, what a fortitude of these children. Certainly coming directly from the gifts of the Holy Ghost bestowed to them by the special, special care of Our Lady to keep them in such, on such a spiritual, supernatural level. In all these trials, they was not afraid to lose their life. They wasn't afraid to, to, to be hurt or to suffer. The only thing we were afraid you know, that, 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 they, that they, would, they would betray the, 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 the secret in Our Lady, which they didn't. They, little, little um, uh, Jacinta, so, so that the parents wouldn't see them anymore. And that's it. And they're ready to die. Ready to die. And they're convinced they will be buoyed now. So, time passed. The next morning, after a final interrogation, because the crowd people were now knowing where they are and the parents were coming, knocking at the door and saying that uh, things are getting really worse. So the administrator couldn't keep them longer. And after two days in prison, on the 15th of August, after final interrogation, the children were conducted back to Fatima. As everyone was very upset at the administrator and also at the parish priest, because the parish priest was together, seen together with him, you know, that this, if they were, in fact, they were kidnapped when they left the parish office. So they thought the, 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 the Freemason with the parish priest, they are just, well, she thought they were trying to do the same work. 
So this parish priest wrote a very, very clear understanding that this trickery of the administrator, he did not know and he's distancing himself from that. But you know what happens? All these the surroundings of Fatima and whole Portugal, the Freemasons, they had the absolute pure power. But now with such two deeds, when the Freemasons would do such things, such horrible things, the people would get upset. And even the people who wouldn't believe in Fatima, people wouldn't believe uh, all these apparitions being themselves, maybe free thinkers, masons or unbelievers, they would have, however, be touched by such an ugly, evil behavior of such a man who threatens children like that and treats them like that, little children, innocent children, seven, eight, ten years, which brings afterwards to understand that this way of doing Freemasonry will lose. It will not take 10 years and Portugal will be freed from Freemasonry. And here Our Lady starts already with this way of doing, uh, this way of children's behavior to prepare that way. Anyway, the children are now back. And so we are coming now to the 19th of August. Then, this is 13th August, therefore I say to you in the beginning, Fatima is full of surprises. Who had, been, who had thought that little children would have been submitted to such a trial? You can imagine with what a joy the children went back. But for us, we must understand that since the three first apparitions, a very incredible deep change was made in the heart of the children. They were ready to go to martyrdom, just ready. And nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing could bring them and to do, could, could, could convince them and threat them to betray a lady. They remained faithful, absolutely faithful. How the children changed and what in the heart of the children happened, we will later on see when we will examine after the operations, the living testimony of Fatima, best testimony, which is Francisco di Azinta and Lucy. However, the children were very sad. Will Our Lady appear again? She was, she must have been sad. We couldn't be at the rendezvous. We couldn't be there. Oh, Mother of Mary, pardon us, you know. And Lucy, Jacinta, especially Jacinta and Francisco were so sad because, because they knew that Our Lady was there. People would tell them. And so it made them even more sad. So will she appear again? But it was not our fault. Maybe she will be upset for, also with us because we have maybe not done what we should. That is a question of the children. And now we come to the Sunday, 19th of August, August, which is a simple Sunday. Nobody would think at that moment that something happens. The children waited now for the 13th of September, as she, Our Lady promised to come always on the 13th. But now suddenly, on the 19th of August, this time in the afternoon, Lucy, who was in company with Francisco and John, his only brother, and they were at the famous place of Calvalinos, that where we have this famous apparition, which is very close to the place where the angel appeared the first and the third time. And so he they were just there with their sheep, which is very close, by the way, to the Aljustre, to the parents' home. It's just maybe five minutes' walk from there. And suddenly, Sister uh, Little Lucy writes, Sister Lucy writes, I felt something supernatural approaching and enveloping us. Lucy asked immediately John, Joao, to run and call Jacinta. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. It is even said that, that, that she, gave, she promised to give some money to Joao that he will run to ask for Jacinta. In the meantime, Francisco and I saw the flash of light, which we call the light, the announcement of Our Lady's coming. Jacinta finally arrived and we saw Our Lady on a whole oak tree, also a tree, but this time in that place of the Valinias. And now Our Lady starts to speak, just as every time as nothing happens. She is there. So, and 
If I'm not, I'm not mistaken, I can now uh, be mistaken, I'm not. So present were just Lucy, Francisca, Jacinta, and they're one of the brothers. But the brother didn't see anything. So it is. And Our Lady stays there on that place, wonderful, and the children so surprised that she came just like that in order to console them for that they were missed. It was not announced. What do your grace want from me or from us? I want you to continue to go to the Kuavada Ira, Iria on the 13th and to continue praying the rosary every day. In the last month, I will work a miracle so that all may believe. That is the second announcement of the miracle. If you had not been taken to the city, the miracle would have been even greater. Saint Joseph will come with the child Jesus to give peace to the world. Our Lord will come to bless the people. Our Lady of the Rosary and Our Lady of Sorrows will also come. You cannot make a clearer announcement. This is what afterwards Lucy and Jacinta and Francisco will say to the people around. Exactly these words. And so the people will be absolutely excited on this upcoming 13th of October. And Lucy asked, what do you want done with the money that the people leave in the Kuavala area? In fact, this shows that the children had been prepared for, to be questioned for these questions when Our Lady would appear on the 13th of August. Of course, if you're on the 13th of July, there were 3,000 people around. And then they would come to that place from time to time. The 30th of August, even more, people left a lot of money at that place. Now, what shall we do with that money? And Our Lady answers, have two litters made. One is to be carried by you and Jacinta, and the other and other two girls dressed in white. The other one is to be carried by Francisco and other through boys. The money from the litters is for the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. And what is left over will help towards the construction of a chapel that is to be built there. A chapel to be built there, which is the, the, the Capellina, this chapel, as you can meet, see it until now, which is also its history. That's come a lot of things, a broad surprise waiting for you yet, when we continue with all this explanation of Fatima. Fatima is a world, an incredible world. I would like to ask you to cure some sick persons. Yes, I will cure some of them during the year. Then, looking sad, Our Lady said, and this is the essential word, the essential word of this time, pray, pray very much and make sacrifice for sinners. For so many souls go to hell because there are none to sacrifice themselves and pray for them. So many goes to go to hell because there is nobody who would pray and make sacrifices for them. This word is absolutely outstanding and needs a very special explanation. And let's now first comment about the reason of this exceptional apparition. Many experts of the apparition of Fatima explain the unusual and exceptional character of this apparition as the love and mercy of our Heavenly Mother, who wanted to console the children after the most terrible trial they had to undergo the days before, and also to assure them that she would continue her visits despite the absence of the children on the 13th, caused by the wickedness of the administrator. If these arguments are, of course, very valuable, they don't see as to give a sufficient answer to a quite a number of questions. First, in Fatima, our Lady announced to the children with precision the dates of her apparition, repeatedly inviting them to come. 13. Why did Our Lady change her habits now, this time, and reveal herself so unexpectedly, so that Lucy and Francisco had to search for Jacinta, who was at her own? This is the first question we have to ask. Secondly, one cannot class this apparition as secondary. She had to come, also Jacinta. Afterwards, Our Lady will appear singularly to Jacinta before her death, and especially to Lucy, as she announced before in Pontevedra and Tui. Furthermore, the apparition happens with the usual phenomena and all the others. The lightning announcing Our Lady staying on an oak tree and the departure of Our Lady. It's very, very, always the same pattern. 
ever since. And the usual repetition to come on the 13th of the next month, the same the rosary every day, and since July, the announcement of the great miracle in October. So we have the same patterns. Why then are the children not alone in this apparition, but surrounded by people? Why then the people are, are, are not alone in this apparition, as on 13 of May, but surrounded by people desiring to know more about the apparition? Would it be not more appropriate to give also to this apparition the usual solemnity and growing affluence of the people? I mean here that, you know, our lady has already begun. 13th of May, they were alone. 13th of June, there were 20 people. 13th of July, there were 3,000. 13th of August, there were 20,000. And why not now to announce it and to make it 30,000, 50,000? Why to go to the other place? And why to be again alone? That's interesting to ask, you know? And especially, you know, she speaks about the upcoming 13th of the Tao that all may believe. So, that is so important that we understand that, that uh, we, we must consider this apparition as one of the most important ones. And finally, Our Lady appeared to the three children always at the same place in the Kobada Yeriga. Why did she choose another place this time that was quite far from the usual apparitions but quite close to the apparition of the angel in the children's village? Why just there? So I must stop it. Next time you will have the answer for all these incredible, interesting questions. To make you understand, Valinius is something very special and great. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I was asked to bless you. Benedictio de Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat Supervos, Maniat Semper. Amen. See you next time.